Island Hoppers. Today we're going to show you the 50 best natural wonders in the world for you to consider traveling in 2024. First up is Milford Sound in New Zealand on the South Island. Known as a fjord, while here you can take a cruise or tour where you'll see many different beautiful waterfalls cascading off of the cliffs here. Next up, we're here at Victoria Falls right along the Zambezi River, which is at the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe in Southern Africa. It is considered one of the largest waterfalls in the world based on its width and height. This large curtain of falling water is 354 feet tall. Now we're here in Venezuela at Angel Falls, another magnificent waterfall. It is the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall standing at over 3,212 feet. This place is spectacular. The Kanaima National Park where it's located is known as the Lost World. You can take a riverboat tour to the base of the waterfall. Next up, we're in Raja Ampat, Indonesia. This majestic island archipelago is known as the last Eden on planet Earth, mainly because of its incredible marine biodiversity, which includes some of the most healthy coral reefs anywhere you'll see on the planet. The name Raja Ampat literally translates to the four kings because of the four main islands. Now we're headed 1,000 kilometers away from Raja Ampat to Palau here in Micronesia. Located in the Western Pacific Ocean, this archipelago is made up of 340 islands, forming the western chain of the Caroline Islands. Famous for the limestone rock islands and jellyfish lake. Now we're going to cool off a bit and head to Switzerland. This here is the Matterhorn, located in the Swiss Alps. Right on the border with Italy, this peak looks like a pyramid shape standing at 14,692 feet above sea level. Expect to arrive in Zermatt and take the train up the mountain. Now here we are in East Java, Indonesia at Tumpak Sewu, which is a beautiful waterfall. The name literally translates to a thousand waterfalls in Javanese. Located in a lush green canyon surrounded by tropical vegetation and steep cliffs. Now here we are off the coast of Africa in Mauritius. This here is the underwater waterfall which is an optical illusion where the tides and currents meet on the sea floor, creating this optical illusion of a waterfall. Now we're headed back to Indonesia. This here is Nusa Paneda, just off the coast of Bali, often referred to as T-Rex Bay because of the way the shape of the cliffs resemble a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can easily arrive here by a fast boat from Sunur Beach in Bali. Now we're headed to Guilin, China. Located in Guangxi Zhang along the Li River. Famous for river rafting along the river as you go through these limestone hill formations. Hanging out with the Comorant fishing birds. Here we are now at the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. Unique for the hexagonal columns that were formed by rapid cooling from molten lava. By the way, as we continue to show you around 50 natural wonders around the world, we can also do a part two if you guys would like one. Drop a comment below, let's keep going. While here, research the legend of Finn McCool. Now here we are at Meteora in Greece. Known for its incredible otherworldly landscape, this sandstone pillar has a monastery at the top. The name Meteora literally translates to suspended in the air, in the heavens. To arrive here, make sure you head to Kalambaka town. Now here we are at Iguazu Falls, located along the border of Argentina and Brazil. Surrounded by lush rainforests, there's actually 275 individual cascading waterfalls spread across two miles here. The most powerful section being known as the Devil's Throat. The surrounding national parks also offer a variety of species of mammals and birds. Here we are now at Yosemite National Park in California. The Yosemite Valley is famous for granite towering cliffs like El Capitan and Half Dome, as well as waterfalls like Bridal Veil Falls. For those of you who love hiking, consider doing the John Muir Trail where you may also find giant sequoia trees. Now we're here at Rainbow Mountain in Peru. This unique geological formation is located in the Andes Mountain. This unique geological formation is located in the Andes Mountains. 
at an altitude of 16,400 feet. Located right in the middle of the Pacific Ocean is Nepali Coast here on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. The 17 mile stretch of beautiful coastline is on the northwest side of the island with towering sea cliffs. Here we are in southwestern Africa at the Namib Desert right here in Namibia, known for its incredible sand dunes that meet the ocean, stretching 31,000 miles along the coastline. They also have a red clay sand salt flats area. And the wildlife here is very unique, such as the Oryx, the Springbok, and desert adapted elephants. Now here we are at Karan in Palawan, Philippines. Known for the Twin Lagoon, Barracuda Lake, and other incredible natural wonders, the coral reefs here are spectacular. You will need to charter a boat. You can either go with a group or a private tour. If you do Quran, I would also consider doing El Nido, which is about three hours away by ferry boat. Here we are now at Pulpit Rock right here in Norway. This surrounding area known as the Liso Fjord is another beautiful inland waterway where people like to hike up to the top of this beautiful Pulpit Rock and get great views in all directions. You can take a boat from Stavanger all the way here to the rock through the fjords. The hike does take about two to four hours depending on your level of stamina. This here is the wave right here in Vermilion Cliffs National Monument in Northern Arizona, known for its unique patterns along the sandstone surface, which was created by erosion forces such as wind and water over millions of years. I would also like to let you know we did a top 100 best places to travel in the USA for 2024. We'll put a link to that below. Next up, we're at Galapagos Islands here in Ecuador world renowned because of its role in the development of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution and natural selection. There is a wide variety of biodiversity. There's also volcanic origin throughout this islands, national parks, marine reserves, so many different islands right here, 620 miles off the coast of Ecuador. Here we are now in the Canadian Rockies. This here is Banff. It is a national park area. They have several different lakes like Lake Moraine, Lake Louise, plenty of hikes, really a beautiful natural wonder right here in the Canadian Rockies. Here we are headed back down to South America at Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia. This salt flats is otherworldly, an amazing place to walk around, take pictures and see your reflection all the way across these incredible salt flats. Here we are now at the harbor of Rio de Janeiro in southeastern Brazil, known for its amazing estuary and known for the amazing estuary and bay here where Sugarloaf Mountain rises right out of the harbor. They also have Corcovado and amazing beaches nearby. Now here we are at the Cliffs of Moa right here in Southern Ireland. The maximum height of the cliffs is around 702 feet above sea level and it stretches for around five miles of the Atlantic Ocean. One of the key landmarks here is O'Brien's Tower, which is a round stone tower near the middle point of the cliffs. Now here we are at the magnificent Niagara Falls located on the border of New York State and Ontario, Canada. The three waterfalls are Horseshoe Falls, which is the largest of the three. Then there's American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls. Consider taking a tourist boat to the Maid of the Mist or visiting the Cave of the Winds. Here we are now in Japan at Mount Fuji, one of the most impressive stratovolcanoes in all of the world, standing over 12,380 feet tall. It's also one of the most iconic landmarks in the nation of Japan. Speaking of iconic volcanoes, here we are at Mount Bromo in Indonesia, standing at over 7,500 feet, located here in East Java. Javanese consider this volcano to be sacred. Consider taking a Jeep tour or do a hike to see the sunrise. Now here we are at Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Rising over 19,340 feet, this is the tallest freestanding mountain in the world, popular with people who do trekking, climbing, and hiking up to the summit. It is a stratovolcano. At the base of Kilimanjaro, you'll find many species of mammals. Now here we are at Navagio Beach in Zakynos, Greece, known for its white limestone cliffs that lead down to these translucent blue waters 
There's a ship wrecked right there on this pristine white sand. There are daily tourist boats that can take you to this location. Now here we are in French Polynesia. This here is Bora Bora, known for its Mount Antamanu, which is the peak that stands up and is a classic landmark for this area. People like to stay at these overwater bungalows and relax around the lagoon and coral reefs. It is a very remote island in the Pacific Ocean, 143 miles northwest of Tahiti, the largest island in French Polynesia. Now here we are at the Pitons, right here in St. Lucia, an island in the Caribbean. You can see these amazing rock formations that tower over the beaches in this tropical paradise located right here in the Lower East Antilles. This is a popular destination with honeymooners. St. Lucia is known as one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean. Now we're headed to California. This here is a look at the redwood trees. You have this giant redwoods in Northern California, and then you have the Sequoia tree, which is actually the largest and thickest tree in the world located in the Sierra Nevadas. Although concealed, they say the tallest tree in the world is located in Redwood National Park in Northern California. There are two different species of the redwood trees, so do pay attention to that. If you wanted to see the amazing General Sherman, you would go to the Sierra Nevadas in the Sequoia National Park. There are some trees you can even drive through the stump. Now here we are at Ha Long Bay here in Vietnam. Located in the Gulf of Tonkin, it covers an area of 600 square miles, known for its limestone cars, which are these beautiful, which are these stunning islands and caves and grottos. They have a fishing village here, amazing and incredible biodiversity, and you can take a boat cruise to explore it. If you want to go to Hong Long Bay, I recommend you arrive in Hanoi and maybe even consider checking out Ninh Binh, which in my opinion is equally as impressive. Now here we are at Zhangjiao Ji here in Hunan province of China with stunning landscapes, towering sandstone pillars. It's a very lush environment here. You'll also find Avatar Hallelujah Mountain, the National Forest, and Tianjin Mountain National Reserve. So much to see out here in this area of China. Now here we are in the Himalayas. This is in Nepal, Bhutan, Southern China, and India. The whole Himalayan mountain range is the highest on earth in terms of, in terms of altitude and elevation, home to the tallest mountain in the world called Mount Everest, which stands at over 29,000 feet in elevation. Also, you can find other notable peaks like K2 and Makalu, several others as well. This mountain range spans 1,500 miles. Now here we are in Patagonia, Chile, also extending into Argentina. This is in the southern part of South America. This is an amazing mountainous glacial area that includes fjords and expansive plains with a wide variety of wildlife and marine whales, sea lions, and penguins also hang out here. And if you get a chance, head over to Tierra del Fuego in Argentina. Now here we are at the Angoro Goro crater in Tanzania. This is considered the cradle of humanity, but it's much more than that right now because you're going to see a lot of wildlife. If, if you're looking for a safari where you're going to see abundance of wildlife, this is where you need to go. Tanzania has you covered. And now we're headed back down under. This time we're at the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, known as the largest coral reef system just off the coast of Queensland. Here you'll find 900 islands and 2,900 individual reefs and a spectacular underwater world where you'll find many species of fish and wildlife. Now we're here at the Northern Lights. You can find these in places like Norway, Iceland, Alaska. They also have Southern Lights down in the Southern Hemisphere, but the Northern Lights are really amazing. As you can see, this here is Aurora Borealis. The best time to find Aurora is in the winter time. Now here we are at Lake Baikal in Russia. This here is Siberia. The lake itself is considered an ancient lake holding 20% of the world's frozen fresh water. The lake is known for its exceptional clarity and it is said that you can see clearly down to 130 feet. In the winter time, this place freezes over. People like to ice skate and ride these hovercrafts over the ice. Here we are back in Indonesia again. This here is the Komodo Islands, very famous for the Komodo dragon and other unique species that come from here. 
One thing I will say, you're noticing Indonesia is coming up on this list quite a few times. So if you're looking for a natural wonderland, Indonesia seems to have you covered. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to this channel and supporting us as we continue to bring you awesome content just like this. Now here we are at the Grand Canyon in Arizona. This here is the largest and deepest canyon in the world with a very beautiful river at the bottom known as the Colorado River. And you can even go rafting down there. They also have some waterfalls like Havasupai. If you love hiking, you can also do the rim to rim hike. Some people can do it in one to two days, just depends on how fast you're willing to go. But the north to the south rim is an amazing hike. They have other hikes that you can do in and out of the canyon. So definitely something to add to your bucket list if you're looking to explore. I would say the best time of year to visit the Grand Canyon is either going to be in the fall or in the spring. The summer can be a bit hot and the winter can be a bit cold. And again, if you plan to visit the USA, we do recommend you watch our 100 best places in the US to travel. Now here we are at the PP Islands in Thailand, known for the world famous Maya Bay, which is where the, the movie called The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio was filmed. But in this area, you're gonna find translucent blue water, very pristine white silky sand to walk around. And it's just an overall amazing place with limestone cliffs. They also have Pile Bay, and even islands where you can stay and then easily access some of the more beautiful areas of Koh Phi Phi Don and Koh Phi Phi Lee. Out here you can easily find remote beaches with bungalows to stay right there immersed in the nature. Now here we are at Cenotes of the area of Quintana Roo here in Riviera Maya. They have many different cenotes for you to explore. If you just go down to Cancun, Playa del Carmen or Tulum, you will find many different options. Now here we are at the Greek island of Santorini. This island caldera is spectacular with views. In the mornings you get amazing sunrises and in the evenings you get even better sunsets. But the views all around this caldera are spectacular, like I said. They also have a red sand beach, black sand beach, white sand beaches. Many people like to do sunset tours and cruises around the Santorini area and even island hop to some of the other islands around the Aegean, such as Eos, Mykonos, and many more. So really an amazing place in the Greek islands, but Santorini is the crown jewel. And now here we are back in Colombia. This here is El Pinon Guatape right here. In this amazing area, you're gonna find beautiful mountains, lush lakes, and this whole area with the big rock, you can walk all the way to the top and get 360 degree views. As you may have noticed, some of these natural wonders have been built up by mankind. And what we try to do is highlight the natural landscapes with the structures around it. And in this case, you can see they built a little bit of a viewpoint on top of this very amazing rock in the area of Guatape. Also, I'd like to remind you guys that if you do want us to make a part two, we do have 50 more amazing natural wonders that we can show you if you guys want that from us. So drop a comment below letting us know, but let's keep going. Now we're here back in Hawaii. This here is Kilauea Volcano. The big thing I want to point out about Kilauea is it's an active volcano among one of the most active in the world. Also right next to it is several other active volcanoes, including Mauna Loa, which is the world's largest active volcano. So in this area of the Big Island of Hawaii, lots of volcanic activity. Also plenty of hiking around the craters. There's the chain of craters hike, and then there's several other lava tubes. The steam vents around here are also very interesting. So if you get a chance, head over to Volcano National Park and stay at the Volcano Lodge. And if you're lucky, you'll see an active lava flow. Now here we are at the Dead Sea. This is the lowest place on planet Earth located on the border with Israel and Jordan. It is also one of the saltiest bodies of water on Earth. Its salinity is around 30%, which compared to an ocean, sea like the Mediterranean is at 3.5%. So a lot more salt concentration here, making people buoyant when they actually swim in the water. So you float. 
The mud here also has healing properties to it and it's considered uh, very mineral rich Dead Sea because of the magnesium, calcium, potassium, and bromine that can be found in this mud. You may have already seen it in beauty supply stores, Dead Sea Minerals, right? And it also has a historical and cultural uh, significance to it, as you guys may already know about the history. And now here we are at Uluru Rock, also known as Ayers Rock, this very large rock formation known as the Red Center of Australia. It's a large sandstone monolith, and it is a culturally significant place for the indigenous people, considered a sacred site. It does stand around 1,142 feet above the surrounding plain, with most of it being beneath the surface. So it's a very large rock above and below ground. All right, everybody, that's going to conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV, showing you the 50 best natural wonders around the world. We can do a part two, as I said, so please let us know in the comments. And watch some more videos on this channel, like the top 100 places in the USA and the best islands in the world. We'll put those links right here on the end screen.